Yeah, and I will, first off, when the strategists start getting bearish, thanks. The market's already 20% down, Goldman. Not yeah. very helpful, but I right. digress. Um, you know, what I look at here with the job market specifically is, even though Goldman's laying off because it's kind of like the pandemic hangover, any sectors or industries that disproportionately benefited from the pandemic, because, you know, mergers and activity activity was just through the charts. As we know, we had all those IPOs. All that's dried up this year. You know, Goldman's earnings were down 50% year over year last quarter. So, of course, they're laying off right now. That makes a lot of sense. But the overall job market, I mean, manufacturing has net up another 67,000 jobs since before the actual pandemic started. And if you look at just you know, industries in general, you, you look at like uh, you know, hotels, retailers, they're all trying to hire. In fact, the biggest problem I find, and I said this last week with my business owner clients, is they have demand, they can't find workers to fit that demand or find, you know, to, to fit the need. In fact, a lot of uh, restaurants down at the New Jersey Shore that I used to love to go to for like, they've been around for 40, 50 years, are closing because they can't find workers. So I think the bottom line is that that labor market's not going to see a lot of slack, and you've got 10,000 baby boomers retiring every single day. So wages are going to stay strong. I think inflation on the ground floor is coming down, and it warms my heart when Dennis gets a little bullish. I like to hear that. And I think he's right. I think uh, markets are way oversold here. You're at extremes that we haven't seen in a long time. Bearishness is the most extreme I think I've ever seen in my 20-year-plus career. Um, I talk about this on my podcast a lot, Pain Points of Wealth, fast-growing podcast in America is, you know, basically, you know, right now, you've got to take advantage of these extremes. You've, you've got to get invested for the long term. You're going to miss the boat. Yeah, 